Please welcome everyone to Sunday Sentiments. And of course, this is a hate crime. And if she's found guilty, then she has to face the consequences. They normally end up killing some particular kinds of people. It's a violation of human rights. That's a very a traumatic event. Um, so I just wanted to ask the panel about their own opinions on this. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sunday Sentiments. Sunday Sentiments is a segment on our YouTube channel where a panel comes together and discusses current events and hot topics from all over the world. Please be aware that the opinions and views that are shared on this panel do not reflect the views of Four Wings. These are everybody's personal opinions that they're choosing to share today. Um, and our first topic will be hosted by Keshi. Thank you, Shakira. This story is a story that trended on Twitter and in social media. And it's about a Kenyan pilot from Kenya Airways and her name is Captain Ruth Karauri, who on February 18th employed her school training to execute a near perfect cross landing at London's Heathrow Airport. She was flying a KQ Boeing 787 and she managed to steer the plane onto the runway as Tom Eunice raged at speeds over 70 knots. And if you're wondering 70 knots, a retired senior KQ pilot explained why this landing was quite a challenge. He says that the normal crosswind landing speed for big jets is 33 knots. So when it's 70 or more knots, it means you're flying at the maximum crosswind landing speed, which is tricky because you are landing not facing the runway. He says adding the tricky part most, most, uh, mostly referred to as a technique is keeping the plane straight. Plane, I, uh, these uh, videos, I wanted to ask you, what do you think about this? And we can also have our British or people, uh, people from England telling us about this Hurricane Eunice and why this was an impressive feat from uh, the Kenyan captain. Yes, Shiko. Um, yes, um, we're in the UK, so we experienced uh, Storm Eunice. And I'm telling you, I wouldn't want to be Captain. Sorry, Ruth. what is that? It was a big storm that went across Europe, but um, it was more, it was felt more in, in England, in the UK. But it did, it did go on to the other countries, but less, it was less of a storm. Okay, you understand, Antonella? Uh, it was like a natural disaster. It was a storm, very strong winds. Okay. Ah, when was it happened? Uh, a couple of weeks ago. Ah, okay, okay. How long was it? Two hundred kilometers per hour wind. It was very scary. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry for the interruption. I uh, was not uh, understanding. Yeah, so it was a very um, scary storm, to be honest. Uh, we, can we as an organization, we canceled our sessions and there was a lot of damage and destructions. Uh, you know, trees that were hundreds of years old were uprooted, buildings, uh, roofs pulled out, you know very, very scary uh, time to be outside. Most people were indoors and there were travel advices like stay home, don't go out. So to be the captain of a big massive Boeing trying to land at such a time, I would be so scared. So I really am taking my hat off to her. Uh, a number of the pilots had to do many, it's called a run around. Keshi is showing there the people being blown over. You can see grown men, adult men being blown over uh, during this storm. Wembley so can you imagine Stadium um, roof came off. The Wembley Stadium has a cover and the cover yeah. just got ripped off by the wind. Yeah, so imagine then trying to, to, to land a plane during those conditions. So yeah, for me, I'm so proud of her. Uh, it, it's just so amazing that she did it because I will be so nervous and she just it seems like she was so calm and she just 
you know, she just did what she's been trained to do. And it's amazing uh, that she's a woman and I hope she's been an inspiration to many Kenyan girls um, and that they see that they can do this as well. Thank you, Shiko and Shakira. Then Shiro looks like she wants to say something. So after Shakira. Yeah, um, it was just also since I'm also in the UK, I don't think we went out even once because like we have like yeah. quite strong windows in the apartment that we're staying at, but they would still slowly like through the night or just out of nowhere, they'd get like pulled open because the storm was so strong. You couldn't open the windows. If you try to go outside, good luck. Anything that you're holding, it's going to go flying into the air. You're never going to see it again. Especially also because Liverpool is right by the water. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Like we were seeing sticks everywhere, like branches, sticks, like trees had fallen over, like Shiko said as well, like huge trees. People were still going out though. Like there was a video um, of this, like these two women going out with a baby in a pram and the baby almost went flying. I, I don't know why anybody would take a baby out in a storm, but they did and the baby almost went flying. That's the kind of weather conditions that we were dealing with for like, I don't know, three days. Well, like a week or so, I don't know, a bit. So Shakira, are you impre impressed, impressed, impressed by this landing? Considering the amount of people that couldn't even walk, I can't imagine trying to do it with an airplane. Thank you. Uh, how about you, Shiro? For us, we were very, very proud of our Kenya Airways uh, lady pilot. And I was reading her story, or, or rather I was watching her on the news talking about the challenges she faces as a female pilot. Apparently, Kenya is, has like 40 female pilots, which is impressive. She says that uh, uh, one of the challenges is when people are coming to the plane and they see a lady pilot, you can see some of them get afraid, they feel insecure. Oh, she's the one who's going to be in charge of this plane. But what, she, what was even more surprising, she said um, so, some some people, especially West African, sorry to say, but I guess that's her experience. They usually ask her, you little girl, are you the one who's going to fly this big plane? And it's a bit offensive, of course, but she tries to take it in stride, but it shows that people are not yet um, used to having women take on such big jobs. And she's an inspiration to many because it was always her dream to be a pilot ever since she was eight. And she says, uh, she, she, her, her desire is to inspire other women to reach such heights and to know that nothing is impossible. Thank you, Shiro. She did mention that in this interview that lack of trust in her capabilities as a pilot is one of the challenges. And then she said that my gender does not affect my capability. I am just as capable as the next man. So this is inspiring. And why I'm saying, I asked, is it, was it really uh, so impressive that she landed a plane? As Shiko mentioned, she did what she's trained to do, but it is impressive because first of all, there is lack of trust in female pilots or women who are in aviation. And there are not that many. Shiro mentioned that in Kenya Airways, there are 40 female pilots, but she forgot to mention that there are 400 pilots in total in Kenya. So female pilots are just 10% of the total number of pilots at Kenya Airways. So this will hope, she's hoping that this will encourage young women to uh, come into the aviation field. And remember you are capable as any man if you put your mind to it. Okay, what I wanted to say before you put on that clip is that in many of the comments from social media, I, I read from Twitter, we had many people praising her abilities, but we also have other people, mostly men, not impressed and using that comment was, and she just doing her job. And also I noticed that uh, when they, they were writing about this woman, they would refer to who her husband is, like what he is defines what she is. But we can see from, from herself, she has that um, she has a lot of confidence in her confidence in her abilities and the fact that her husband is this and that does not define her capabilities so maybe media should now stop referring to her as the wife of somebody in order to give her validation like because she's a ceo's wife then uh, yeah look 
No, this is a girl, like Shiro said, a woman who came from a background of not privilege. She was not privileged. She actually was lucky to get into the aviation scheme through Kenya Airways. It cost millions to train as a pilot in Kenya. So it's not because her family could fund her studies as a pilot or her training as a pilot that she came into this. It was through luck and that there was a project or program in Kenya where female pilots could join and she was one of the lucky ones. So let's not start uh, continue undermining women's achievements by referring to them as the wife um, of so-and-so. Keshi. Yes, Shiko. And I know she was lucky in that she, she got that opportunity, but she also had to work very hard uh, to, to complete the several interviews. I think they had about four interviews. Uh, and she was also academically, she was really good. So I, I don't want it to come across. Yes, she was lucky as somebody from an underprivileged background to come across that opportunity, but she also had to work hard. So it wasn't just a handout. She had to pass several tests uh, to reach uh, that captain level. And we will actually feature her on Women's Day because her story is very, very inspiring. Absolutely, Shiko actually she did mention that if she had not got the pilot training, she was going to train in electrical engineering because she got an A in her exam. So this is not just somebody who got lucky. I was just emphasizing that part that she's not from privilege. It was through luck that she managed to get into that. Otherwise, her other option was going to uni and studying. And this is also something she mentioned to parents that uh, there's so much emphasis on academic education, but there are other ways your kids can follow to get skills that can be as, can qualify them to be at the same level as somebody who has received that academic education. She could you have that clip we can hear as we continue to chat. Antonella, do you have any comment about skilled women? First of all, uh, thank you very much for sharing this uh, excellent news. I didn't know it. And uh, uh, as you were talking, I was actually uh, going on Facebook and I was uh, trying to, to look if she had a profile that would be nice if she could see this video in which, in which we mentioned her. I think that she will, it will be possible. Thank you for sharing. And uh, every time that I uh, hear um, news in, in where a woman is protagonist it's always uh, a winning for, for me because uh, uh, women even if our society in 2022 have made progresses but there is, there is still a long way to go it still not achieve a complete gender balance so congrats to this uh, Ruth uh, to this uh, Kenya lady and uh, uh, also uh, in general uh, being a pilot is not easy. I know that uh, uh, every pilot, uh, women run uh, in every nation, uh, they do uh, also psychological tests because uh, uh, um, let's think of all the pilots that uh, um, have uh, uh, taken part to, to terrorist attacks. Uh, 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 they were uh, driving uh, those uh, airplanes. And uh, since, uh, for example, the event of uh, September 11 September uh, 2001, um, uh, controls, psychological controls on um, people, professional workers that have such a responsibility like driving a plane. I know that they have become much stricter. So uh, <laughs> she is a woman and she's strong, but also for the fact that she's pilot, in addition to this, it's even uh, more remarkable. And uh, well done, <laughs> well done. Wow, at those, uh, at that speed, uh, um, she has had, uh, how to say, um, she was uh, called, uh, she was able to think uh, of the responsibility that she had some passengers, so well done. Not only because she's a woman, well done also because she's a pilot, because we must uh, before see the, the role. And because of she's a woman and she comes from Kenya, even more, let's hope that this story serves as encouragement to other ladies, to every woman in the world to pursue her dreams and uh, never, um, we, we always have to, uh, how to say, point uh, in the next level, not uh, if she was uh, a weak person, she would have had uh, 
uh, given up when she was younger. But uh, no, she was. Uh, uh, she didn't listen uh, to the one who said to her, "No, you are a woman. You cannot uh, drive and play." Uh, she didn't care, and I think well done because <laughs> in this uh, world, uh, to being a woman is not easy, and uh, we must not hear the negative comments. So well. Thank done. you, Antonella. Actually, you mentioned two things that I want to highlight. One of the things uh, you mentioned is that they receive psychological training. And she did mention in her interview that even on their job interview, they did a psychological test. And actually, this the, the train the, before getting in, um, the tests, the stages were very complex. You do an exam, just like you do an exam when you're finishing your school. Then they do the training, and they also did the psychological to, to show that you're psychologically fit to handle such a responsibility. So you did mention that. And another thing was during her training, she was asked by one of the trainers if she could ride a bicycle and she said no. And then the trainer said, if you cannot ride a bicycle, you'll never fly a plane. And then she says, but look at me. So when people tell you, you cannot tell them, oh yes, I can. So yeah. Unless anyone has something else to say, I just wanted to say that this was really inspirational. And like you said, it's not just because she's a woman. Pilots are also, you know, they go through a lot. They have to be resilient. They have to be um, skilled in their job. So we hope we can reach a time when we are not referring to her as a female pilot, but as a pilot. But it's, we thought it's good to emphasize because there are not that many women pilots. I don't know if any one of you has ever been in a plane that was flown by a woman. I have once and I was so excited. And then whoever was uh, flying with told me, but there are, there are other female pilots. This is not the only one. We were going to, I think, to Spain and uh, it was SAS and it was a female pilot and I was very impressed. So yeah, let's reach a point where a pilot is a pilot. She doesn't have to be defined by her gender or his gender. So unless anyone has something else to say, she could play the video and then we can conclude there. Um, so yeah, we were, so everybody was like, and the lady came up and all the doors were closed because they got us on early and just in case we could get a slot. And they were, they were slowing um, aircraft coming into the UK at the time. Yeah, they the were putting in, they're putting in a bigger gap between one and another. And yeah, so yeah, you know, there was in case air traffic code. Yeah. Uh, air traffic control was How was the and, landing, uh, uh, Mario? It was brilliant. I've got to say, um, the captain came out and she was a very young lady. And I looked and I thought, you know what? In a storm of worst of 30 years, I would like, I would prefer a stereotypical six foot two <laughs> pilot that would be able to hold the stick. You're, a, you're a terrible, amazing. You're a terrible sexist for even thinking such know, a thing, Mario. I, know, I reckon that I may know. be, that could be hate but, thought. We might have to report but when your you. Life but when your life is in, in and, and let me tell you, I say that because when she landed the plane, I was so proud of her. I thought, you know what? Yeah. How stereotypical, See, that is lousy old person fashioned. am I? I yeah. and, and how old fashioned. And But when your life's at stake, you do want someone that you can really, looks really strong and take control. She landed really it tiny. like it was. Yes, he was indeed very sexist in his thoughts, but at least at the end, he acknowledges that they should let more women be pilots. But that's why I was thinking it's important and hoping that, like I said, one day we won't be referring to the gender, but just saying this is a, a skilled pilot. But uh, to make a comment, uh, I very quick, uh, at least it's better if a man admits he's honest and yeah. changes his mind. I appreciate more a man that admits and uh, by admitting it, you are telling me that you are changing your mind. But the man that uh, just think that, that there isn't a gender balance and not even try to modify their opinions, it's the worst category. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Antonella. She, uh, Shakira, please get us out of here. Yes, uh, sorry, it was just one last point before I uh, you know, break off. Um, it's just when you said earlier that they were referring to her by her husband's 
like title and name or whatever it just it's the same way that I feel like I see this all the time that like women now are saying I'm not gonna change my name or like I'm gonna get my doctorate before I get married because they know that when they get married and they take their husband's last name it's his last name that's gonna be it's gonna be doctor whatever his last name not hers and there's I've seen like several situations where it's like the people just assume that it's the man who's the doctor in a lot of these situations or they hear the name they're like oh that guy like no it's the woman she just ended up having like your last name and that took credit away from her it's just the same way I just find it dumb why should a man be given credit because his wife is like has very great achievements that doesn't make any sense to me they can give birth to children if they wanted to take our marriage they can also <laughs> that's funny that's funny Antonella but Shakira actually they were not even, it's not the even the surname they were just referring because he's a big guy somewhere that you have to mention why do you have to take her shine just right she's there uh, this is her name we don't want to know about her husband we want to know about her no actually if it was a, ma- a male pilot they have mentioned his wife Exactly. They would not have mentioned the wife is a businesswoman or whatever they were writing regarding this exceptionally talented pilot. But yeah. you know why I think, uh, I, before I didn't know this uh, lady, I was uh, looking on Facebook before when you were talking and the first two articles, they were mentioning uh, her husband, but uh, uh, because he is involved into sport, into football. So I think that it's also because of this. And there is also uh, around the sport that is football, wow, and so even Does worse. What have to do with her achievements, Antonella? Sexism, sportism, <laughs> boo. She's They're very excited pilot. about sports, really. Uh, okay. but, but the same way, he's, he's also a pilot. So X. he didn't land X. the plane. X. No, no, I'm just saying he's also a pilot. Yeah. But that was not what brought made her talented. She became a pilot before she met him. Yeah, I, uh, I, I agree, Keshi, but I'm saying he's also a pilot. It's not that he's just also a nobody, really. He's no, also Shiro, it's not even, they were not writing he's a nobody. He's a CEO. I didn't even want to mention that. He's a CEO of a big company that Kenyans, yeah. it has to do with a lot or whatever. So that maybe makes people, oh, she's a wife of that. But that shouldn't be why. I mean, they should just mention her achievements. I know maybe that guy is popular in Kenya, but I don't know. Um, Shakira. Yes, she just she did get the credit and the praise anyway from everyone. It's, mm. But why do the articles have to have his name? But I'm sorry, it just reminded me <laughs> the same way that people will pronounce somebody husband. I'm just, I don't know, I'm, I'm going off there. But the same way that they'll pronounce somebody husband and wife, some people will say, Mr. and Mrs. and then the man's full name. Not hers, but just Mr. and Miss. Or like, you'll soon become Mrs. Like this guy's name was Mario. Mrs. Mario, whatever. Like, why do you, (laughs) why do they say Mrs. and then his name? Because she, it's, I don't understand it. I find it. Anyway, let's, let's conclude the discussion. It was nice to see a skilled woman. Yes. Um, but Thank you everyone for watching. Please, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share it with your friends, subscribe, press that little notification bell so you know when we post videos next. And yeah, see you next time. Bye. Bye.